children. Shall we start writing the third and fourth question answer? Lesson number five, the food you eat. Third question, first and second question answer already we have written and I have shown you the object to type also. Okay. Uh, why should we eat foods rich in vitamins? We should eat food rich in vitamins because they protect us from diseases. They keep our bones strong, our vision clear and sharp and our skin, nails and hair healthy and glowing. Vitamins also give us a sense of well-being. Fourth question, name some animals needed by the body. What are their functions? Potassium, calcium, iron and iodine are some minerals needed by the body. Non functions. Potassium help, helps our nerves and muscles function well. Calcium helps our teeth and bones stay strong. Iron carries oxygen to our cells. Iron helps our body process go on well. These things are already have told you in my explanation. Please follow the notes. Whenever you are writing the question answer, whatever the answers I have given you, please write those answers only. It will be better for you to and me too. So, why should we eat foods rich in vitamins? You also repeat the answer in your mind. We should eat food rich in vitamins because they protect us from diseases. They keep our bones strong, our vision clear and sharp and our skin, nails and hair healthy and glowing. Vitamins also give us a sense of well-being. Just look at the book and start writing these questions. Answer. We should eat foods rich in vitamins because they protect us from diseases. They keep our bones strong, our vision clear and sharp and our skin, nails and our hair healthy and glowing. Vitamins also give us a sense of well-being. Fourth question, name some minerals needed by the body. What are their functions? So, protein, oh, sorry, potassium, calcium, iron and iodine are some minerals needed by the body. Potassium helps our nerves and muscles function well. Calcium helps our teeth and bones stay strong. Iron carries oxygen to our cells. Iodine helps our body process go on well. Now, take your time. Start writing in your class for book. I'll show you these question answers so that you can write clearly. Follow the notes children, please follow the notes. Look at the videos and write the notes, write the given answers. Why should we eat foods rich in vitamins? Then write we should eat foods rich in 
foods rich in this is foods foods rich in vitamins because they protect us from diseases d i s e a s e s diseases they keep our bones strong our vision clear and sharp and our skin nails and hair healthy and glowing vitamins also give us a sense of well being well being now fourth question name some minerals needed by the body what are their functions answer potassium p o t a s i u m potassium calcium iron and iron and iodine are some minerals needed by the body calcium calcium helps our teeth and bones stay strong iron carries oxygen to our cells iodine helps our body process go on well you can see this potassium p o t a s s i u m potassium calcium iron and iodine are some minerals needed by the body now functions see potassium helps our nerves and muscles function well and calcium helps our teeth and bones stay strong iron carries our uh, carries oxygen to our cells and iodine helps our body process go on well okay continuation of uh, this is the fifth and sixth question we will write third and fourth also we have written now fifth and sixth questions uh, answer will write what is a balanced diet a diet that contain all the nutrients in the right amount is called a balanced diet sixth question why should why should you take why should you take plenty of water 
water we should take plenty of water because it helps our body to use all the nutrients in the food second point it helps in digestion of food it helps to get rid of waste of get rid of waste form in our body these are the three points are there which you have to copy them properly look at the board and read in your mind What is a balanced diet? A diet that contain all the nutrients in the right amounts is called a balanced diet. Then why should you take plenty of water see here answer we should take plenty of water because it helps our body to use all the nutrients in the food it helps in digestion of food third point is it helps to get rid of waste formed in our body so these are the question answers you have to copy in your class work book yes now we will write uh, seventh and eighth questions answer also we will write uh, how do foods rich in fiber help your body foods rich in fiber aid digestion and elimination of waste from the body as i told you that fibers will not digest but it helps to collect all the waste from the body so that's why we must eat the fiber food then uh, eight answer what are the uses of cooking food can we eat the 
raw food or wheat or just like that flour or rice no we cannot eat we have to cook the food because it helps to digest the soft it becomes soft and it will be very easy for us to digest the food so cooking makes the food soft and easily digestion second point it, it also kills any germs that may be present in the food these are the two points you have to mention it for the eighth question answer once again how do foods rich in fiber f i b r e fiber help your body foods rich in fiber a a i d a digestion and elimination of waste from the body what are the uses of cooking food first point is cooking makes the food soft and easily digestible second point is it also kills germs any it also kills any germs that may be present in the food now i'll show you this question answer with a bit closer so that you can copy these two questions are seventh and eighth questions answer here you can see how do foods rich in fiber help you help your body foods rich in foods rich in fiber aid digestion and elimination e l i m i n a t i o n elimination of wastes w a s t e s waste from the body eighth question what are the uses of cooking food cooking makes the food soft and easily digestible okay then second point is it also kills any germs that may be present p r e s e n t present in the food present in the food now please copy these question answers i'll give you sufficient time to copy all the question answers okay now you can see this question answer and copy all the question answers please complete your notes so that it will be very easy for you to by heart the question answers write in neat handwriting okay now uh, shall will continue writing the ninth question answer so that we can complete all the question answers of this lesson okay uh, ninth one is write five ways of healthy cooking first there are five points you have to remember first point is vegetables should be washed first 
and then stop to preserve the nutrients in them second point is vegetables should not be fried in too much oil food should not be over cooked fourth point is fruits and some vegetables which are eaten raw should be washed well in order to remove dust and germs that may be present on them fifth point is food should be cooked in just enough water in my explanation i told you if you keep if you take more water and put it in that some vegetables or something that then it will be cooked but because due to the more water if you drain that water then all the vitamins will be drained away so that is why we should not cook the food uh, in more water we should cook the food should be cooked in just enough water so these are the five points you have to remember right five ways of healthy cooking first one is vegetables should be washed first and then chopped to preserve the nutrients in them second point is vegetables should not be fried in too much oil food should not be overcooked fruits and some vegetables which are eaten raw should be washed well in order to remove dust and germs that may be present on them fifth point is food should be cooked in just enough water like rice rice you cannot put more water into that and you cannot put less into what less water also less water so it should be just enough water how much it needs that much only you have to put the water okay now i'll show you this answer little bit closely so that you can look at this board and copy start copying all the answers right five ways of healthy cooking vegetables first point answer you can see here first point vegetables should be washed first and then chopped to preserve the nutrients in them second point is vegetables should not be fried in too much oil third point food should not be over cooked then here fourth point is fruits and some vegetables which are eaten raw should be washed well in order to remove dust and germs that may be present 
on them so food should be cooked in just enough water please copy these please copy these question answers complete your notes children and uh, with this we have completed all the question answers of this lesson lesson number 5 the food you eat okay in our next class we will study few more things thank you